Happy Yaoi Review Day, everybody! It's Corbin, and today I'm going to talk about Cuz of My Teacher. Ooh, Yaoi Review So I'm going to review Cuz of My Teacher by Tamari Matasumoto. Um, I'll read the back, we shall delve into it and get into the nitty gritty. From the artist of Koyokara Mayo, and the creator of Just My Luck, and Shinobu Kokoro, after gathering up all of his courage, Toharu was finally able to ask his teacher, the handsome Minazuki, but now that they're seeing each other, there's a problem. Toru loves how attractive Mizuki looks in his glasses, but his teacher always takes them off when they kiss. Does he want to see... Does he not want to see Taharu up close? And why is he kissing a girl with his glasses on? After featuring the continuing adventures of Haruji and Asagi, the ninja duo from Shinobu Gokoro. Alright, so this is rated M for Mature, which is 18 plus. It's published by June. Published by June. Which no longer exists, so this is really a flash from the past. So I have never read this before, and if this had been my introductory to Yaoi, I would never read another Yaoi. I mean, that sounds really harsh, but that's the way I'm going to start this review. Art-wise, it's stunning. The art is beautiful. Let's see, PG. So the art style is beautiful. It's very stunning. It very much so feels very modern to me. It feels like the very current kind of yaoi anime manga drawing style that is very common today. It's not jaded, it's not tired, it doesn't feel like the classic 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000 kind of style. This feels like it was just drawn maybe a month ago. But that being said, that is really the only positive for this yaoi. Plotline wise, I have to tell you guys, the f it's a collection of shorts, which is the first thing that hurt it. But it's a collection of shorts that are short, short. Uh, the first and title story is that long. This is the title story. That's it. I, I think that's maybe about 30 pages, if that. It probably isn't. It's probably closer to 20. And I'll tell you guys, the story makes next to no sense. Um, the boy and the teacher are going out. And he sees the teacher kissing a girl while wearing his glasses, which for him is some sort of trigger point. And the first thing that went through my brain was, well, he wants to make out with you without glasses because he's tired of cramming his glasses into his eyes and banging your face with glasses. So not wearing glasses while making out is kind of a courtesy thing. But the boy doesn't see it that way. And then the teacher explains to him, but never explains why he's making out with a girl. He explains to the boy, I don't wear my glasses because if I can see you, I'm going to get too turned on and not control myself. I... What? Okay. That's how that story ends. They make up and they make out while the teacher wears glasses and they go at it and they bang bang for, I don't even think it's an entire chunk of a page. Ridiculous. The next story is another student-teacher pairing, except for it's, again, the student who is the protagonist in this, or he's just egging for this teacher. The teacher is definitely, definitely, definitely... A semi. I think the semi is the bottom. I don't remember. But definitely very feminine. Very tiny. And the student takes advantage of that teacher. In a way. And it's just like WTF. There's really no provocation. There's really no reason for it. At least the second one story makes a lot more sense than the first one. Then the next two stories, they're both samurai stories. And it deals with... The first one is a... Uh, samurai samurai they're both the same ranking kind of samurai pairing where one samurai is getting punished because he refused to do a mission and the other samurai is asking him well, why did you do this and we get a flashback explaining why he did what he did and then those two end up hooking up and banging after he gets out of punishment absolutely 
I mean, it's such a blah, flatline story, I just don't understand it. The third one was far better. It was a master and a samurai pairing. The master samurai pairing was the cutest of the stories, but that one was still very dry. Please excuse my cat in the background. She's in heat. I haven't taken her to get, get fixed yet. So it's just, it's the cutest out of them all. I mean, it's the kind of servant master pairing and it's very traditional. The master's very mad at the servant for being in love with him and refuses and tells him you're going to get fired if people find out that you're trying to seduce me or that you love me and you can't properly protect me. And then the master realizes that he loves the servant and they end up together. I mean, it's pretty much very traditional. There's another short. The next short is a very kind of power struggle way. There are two rival kingdoms. Rival kingdoms. They seem like allied kingdoms to me by the description. But there's two kingdoms. There's the Mountain Kingdom and the Sea Kingdom. The Sea Kingdom rules over the Mountain Kingdom. So it's like the Mountain Kingdom's a principality of the Sea Kingdom. So the... Sea Kingdom's prince falls in love with a teacher from the mountain and ends up trying to seduce him. And the story runs fairly par for course. That person ends up falling in love with the prince and the prince and the teacher run off together and get married. The last few stories are just like quickie pickup wrap up kind of things. We have the sensei and the student pairing, which is the very first one. That one is kind of a mixed feeling one. The boy confesses that his eyesight's getting bad and he needs glasses and the teacher laughs and says, well, um, that's good because it'll be cute to see you in glasses. He says, no, it won't. I'm getting contacts. And that's how that one ends. Then the next one is the two samurais. And the one samurai is complaining he's going to have to make get his own dinner because he's tired of porridge. And the other samurai is saying, no, you're going to eat your porridge. Then the author makes a note saying, I'm sorry the stories are so rough and that the quality kind of sucks. Well, the quality doesn't suck. It's the content that sucks. Um, well, plotline content sucks. The artwork is gorgeous, to be honest. As far as picking this up and having to have it, I wouldn't recommend it. I gave it a one and a half to two stars maximum. This is not a good yaoi. Um, if you like the, her art, I highly recommend it for that because the art is stunning. It is, it is some of the most beautifully drawn, illustrated, just work I've seen in a while. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, another point to point out to these is the boys look exceedingly young. Now, they do not exactly explicitly show sex scenes. It does that very polite kind of yaoi fuzzing unless they're the same age and... It's literally that much sex on a page. I mean, you're talking about one little comic box kind of thing of sex. So that is something to bear in mind with this, but I didn't like it. I thought it was dry. I thought it dragged on and it didn't drag on in a good way. So if you guys have read this, let me know your thoughts on it. Give me a like, a subscription, and share this with a friend who likes Yowie. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. You like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!